like pollen grains and phytoliths, starch grains are also species specific and can be used for taxonomic identification. Here you can see starch grains observed under a petrographic microscope with their different sizes, shapes and other characteristics. On the top photo are the starch grains from acorn wheat, in the middle starch coming from seeds of peas and on the bottom from tubers of sea club rush. Many plant species have starch in many different tissues, but the richest plant parts are as expected grains, seeds, tubers and roots. Apart from taxonomic identification, by the analysis of starch grain surfaces and changes on them, it is possible to say if they endured processes like cooking, baking, fermentation and so on. But these kinds of analyses are still quite new. Uh, they can be found in very, various kinds of environments, apart from in very high temperatures when they lose their shape. And the samples are the same as for phytolites, usually soil packed in bags, and also residues from artifacts like grinding stones, pottery, knives, and so on. The studies have proven to be valuable, to give valuable results uh, if the starch grains are obtained by the analysis of dental calculus as well. Oftentimes, the same sample can be used for the analysis of all three types of micro-remains, pollen, phytolites, and starch grains. So what can we say based on the analysis of starch grains? Uh, we can discuss about agricultural practices, diets of pesticides, if we study the artifacts of force of their use, and uh, also of zones of activity in houses or in the settlements.